Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin. Today we're going to be looking at basic word processor tasks on the Braille Plus 18, which include creating a document, doing some basic editing like moving to a certain location and doing a backspace, and saving your document. My Braille Plus 18 is currently turned on, unlocked, and I'm on the home screen focused on the item for the word processor. The word processor is on your main list of apps on the home screen, and by default it's about the sixth or so option down. So you can either press H chord or the home key to reach the home screen, and then down arrow until you reach word processor. To launch the word processor, you simply press the select button located in the middle of the arrows. Word processor, document blank. When the word processor first opens, you are placed into the document which you have most recently worked with. If you have been working with a document previously, you will be placed into the document that you are most recently working with. If you have closed all open documents and or if you are using the word processor for the first time, you will be placed into a blank document where you can begin to type text. To verify if you're opened to an existing document or a new blank document, you can simply use the up arrow and the down arrow. And if you hear beeps, just like I just did, that means you are placed in a blank document with no text. You hear those beeps because there's nowhere the Braille Plus 18 can move you in a document. It can't move up or down, which is why it's beeping. Entering text into a document is very simple. You do this by simply beginning to type. So I'll type hello. Oh, and you heard some of the characters that I typed echoed back to me. If your speech rate is set to the default rate, which is pretty slow, and or if you're a pretty quick braille typist, you will get ahead of the speech and it won't be able to announce every character as you type. This is what you just heard happen with my typing. You heard it announce a couple of the characters, but not all of them because I typed them faster than the speech could read them back. So if this happens to you, don't worry too much about it. I have now written hello and a period in my document. I am going to now write another sentence, I'll just write this as a test, but I want to put this on its own line so that I can have two lines of text within this new document. I'm going to create a new line in this document, and to do a return in a document on the Braille Plus 18, you need to press four six chord, dots four and six with the space bar. New line. You hear Hello. new line, it reads me the last word I typed, and now we're on a new line. My braille display is completely blank, with the cursor showing at the bottom of the left cell, indicating that this line is blank. So I can type here, this is a test, ST, and if you want to read a line that you have just typed, you can use C chord. This is a test. And now I have made an error within this line. You heard this ISA test, because I have typed it so that I have an error that the sentence isn't correct, so that we can have something to modify within the sentence. So doing basic editing is fairly easy on the Braille Plus 18. First of all, you need to understand the concept of a cursor. The cursor is where the Braille Plus 18 is currently focused, meaning wherever you backspace or type, you're going to be working with a certain location. By default, the cursor is placed wherever you're typing. The cursor is shown by dots 7 and 8, which are the bottom two dots of any of the braille cells. I feel this directly to the right of the period because that is where text would be inserted if I began to type now. To move the text to any other point in your document, you can press the cursor routing button above the braille cell where you would like to move the cursor to. So I have here this ISA is all one word. I need to move my cursor to the A after the word is. There's no space there currently, and I need to add a space in between the letter S of is and the letter A. To add this space, I need to put the cursor in the cell containing the A that needs a space before it. So I'm going to find that A, which is immediately after the letter S. Feel for the oval-shaped cursor routing button directly above the A press the cursor routing button, and I now see dots 7 and 8 are up below the A in the same braille cell as the A, indicating that my cursor is now 
at the A that I need to put a space before. So to add a space before this word, I just press space. Space. And now I have this is A, but the word test is spelled A-T-E-S-T, -E so I have an extra A. I'm going to need to move my cursor to the letter T of test and then backspace once to get rid of the A. I'm going to find the cursor routing button above the letter T, press it, and now I'm going to use the backspace command B chord, dots one and two with the space bar. A. You hear it announce A because it announces the character that has been removed. So now I can see this is a test on my braille display, and if I use the read line command C chord, dots one and four with the space bar, this is a test. I hear this is a test, and I know that this is now written correctly. To move by lines within my document, I can simply use the up and down arrows, or I could use dot one chord to move up a line and dot four chord to move down a line. So I'll press up arrow. Hello. That's hello, which is written on the first line. And if I press down arrow, this is a test. We hear this is a test. If I wanted to move by words within this document, I could use dot two chord and dot five chord. Dot five chord will move me to the next word, so if I press it, is A. Or dot two chord will bring me back to the previous word. Is. And dots two and five together with the space bar, two five chord will announce the current word. Is. Dots three chord will move you back by characters, and dot six chord will move you forward by characters. You can also just simply use the left and right arrow to move by characters. If I press the left arrow, space, T8, dot six, new line. And now we're moving by characters in Braille. You heard it say new line, so we're now on the previous line, and if I press three six chord, new line. We hear new line because that's the character it's currently on. If I press left arrow a couple of times, dot TH, to get onto the TH contraction, because I wrote this in grade two Braille, three six chord, TH, will announce the current character, which is the TH sign. Now that we have created some text in the document, the first thing we'll want to do is save the document. You could go to your menu, choose File, and then choose Save, but the easier way to open the Save dialog is to press Alt, the key to the right of the spacebar, with S, dots 2, 3, 4. If I press Alt S now, File Manager, Edit This is Test. File name edit untitled 3 computer braille required. It asks us for the file name that we would like to use. Right now, my file name is untitled 3. This isn't a very useful file name, so I would like to change this to test document, which is what I'm going to call this file. I pressed the right braille scrolling button to get so I could see the end of the file name, which is the number 3. I'm going to press the cursor routing button above the cell to the right of the 3 which is the last character in the file name. And now I can use B chord to backspace and get rid of the file name that's currently in the file name field. E-L-I-T-N-U. And now I have gotten rid of the file name. I can now type the new file name in computer braille, meaning I must type numbers in the lower part of the cell, and I cannot use any grade two contractions. So I'm gonna type test. T-E-N-T -E space. Document. U. U O C N E T. If I read the current line, test document. And I have put the name test document in the file name field, which is what this file will be called. If I down arrow, text file spinner. I am placed on a spinner control, which allows me to select the type of file that this file will be saved as. We can enter the spinner control by pressing select. Text files alert. Text files. One of five. And I have five options for types of files. The default option is text files, which are .txt files, which pretty much any type of application can open and edit. If I down arrow, RTF files, two of five. Here is RTF files, which are rich text format. This is another very standard format that pretty much any word processor can open if I down arrow again. Word files, three of five. These are files created and read with Microsoft Word, .doc files. If I down arrow again. Braille files, four of five. This allows us to save a .brf braille file, which will allow us to preserve any grade two text and braille formatting in the document. When you open a document that's not a braille file, if your Braille Plus 18 is set to display grade two, it will show you 
grade to Braille even if the document isn't written in Braille. However, if you save as a Braille file, all of the Braille that you have entered will be preserved rather than converting to text. If I down arrow one more time, Word XML files, five of five. The final option is Word XML files, which are .docx files created by newer versions of Microsoft Word. And I want to choose this option for DOCX. So to choose the file type that I want, I'm going to simply press select. File manager, research underscore paper dot And it's reading a file in a folder. And I'm going to up arrow back to file name edit the file name field. And now just to simply save the file in the root directory of your internal memory of the Braille Plus, assuming you haven't previously selected any folders in this save dialog, which we haven't, I can press select. Save word processor, file name document, test document, computer braille required, document, this is test. And we have been returned to our document, and this has been saved as text document dot docx in the root directory, or just the main folder of the Braille Plus 18's internal memory. We hope this video on basic word processor tasks has been helpful to you. Our next video will cover more on the Braille Plus 18's word processor, including cut, copy, and paste, as well as how to save a file to a specific folder on your Braille Plus 18.